Melissa, we're here at Art of Framing, and there's some um, lovely artworks behind you that are varied. Um, they're different mediums. Do you have a favorite? Oh, wow, what an interesting question. Um, I work in many mediums, as you noticed, and right now I'm learning pottery for the first time as the visiting artist at the Art Museum. And I would have to say that uh, as, as mediums go, the one piece of pottery that I feel was the closest to being a painting, because I do consider myself first and foremost a painter, is this piece, John. What I did with this was basically create a platter on which I could consider it a canvas to paint on. And so uh, as an abstract painting, I felt this was quite successful. Yeah, it's um, got a lovely texture like I've seen some of your, your oils in. Um, now you say you're, you're learning, when did you start learning? Um, when I first arrived back in Lafayette, Jeff and Jane Boswell introduced me to the art museum and, and I was then invited to be the very first visiting artist at the art museum. And I was also invited to be a participant in the pottery studio and it was a great opportunity for me to learn a new medium and I've been learning pottery since the beginning of April. Oh my goodness, and this is some of your work here. These are actually some of my very first pieces. Yes, one of the first pieces that um, students learn in Pottery One is how to make a box. And so I learned how to make a box. Well, I wanted mine to actually have feet and, um, and a little knob at the top, and I had to learn about constructing the cuts so that the, the lid would fit neatly on, on it. Yep. And uh, another early piece that I did was coming out of a machine called an extruder where they uh, squeeze, it's like a giant Play-Doh machine, squeeze the, the clay through it and then put a base on the bottom. And uh, this was an experimental piece for me. What I did was I smashed it with a hammer after it was bisque kilned. And, uh, excuse me, that was actually bisque fired. After the bisque firing process, I took it in a room, uh, wrapped it in a blanket, and smashed it with a hammer, and then I used each piece. This was deliberate, by the way. I was quite happy with it, uh, but I used each piece as uh, an excuse to, to paint a different design on each surface, and then when I fired them each individually, I was able to um, reconstruct it after, after the glazing process. Yeah. So these are some of my early pieces. Uh, you might have seen also I have uh, some pieces with corn as a theme. Uh, soon after I lof left Lafayette, um, I was dabbling in watercolors. And this was about 22 years ago. And I uh, made a, a project for myself in which I was creating uh, an illustration of corn. And it looked very much like this piece. And a friend bought that from me, and somebody recently uh, saw that and said, oh, I'd like one. In fact, it was Jane Boswell. And I said, well, let me create a new one for you. And that piece, um, it, she posted it on Facebook, and, and it became very popular very quickly. And so people said, well, where can I get one? And, and it was a wonderful memory of, of the, the corn theme or motif here in Indiana, which I've um, carried with me as much as I ran off and did many things in the world. Something about your home state and even your hometown goes with you everywhere you go. And, and so the corn has gone with me. And so with the interest of so much uh, of the corn illustration, I recently had a limited edition printed of Giclée prints. And so I do have 50 of those, and this one is number one of the 50. And uh, in the pottery studio, I created this piece uh, playing with that same idea. And so this is made of clay. Yeah, it's a wonderful variation uh, there in different mediums, but of this you know, lovely subject. And I looks painstakingly detailed. There. Well, there's something about painting each kernel of corn and inking it uh, at the end that um, I, I consider it quite meditative. I, I'm not 
a Buddhist, but I like the idea of being Zen and calm. And, and sometimes as an artist, I, I get overwhelmed with uh, all the things I feel like I should should be doing, I want to create. And, and then sometimes I, I want to just settle and be quiet for a little while. And this is one of the techniques I can use to calm myself. Well, I think this is just a small portion of your wonderful art, and I know there's even other mediums with leather and soldering found items that everyone needs to come and see. It's really nice for you to share your artwork today. Oh, thank you. Well, Janie Peters at The Art of Framing is very gracious to host me. She invited me to do a solo exhibition, which will open here at Art of Framing on Earl Avenue in Lafayette on July 28th. Great. Thank you so much, Melissa. Thank you.